There it is. All right, finally. That took like that took like a good six, seven minutes, man. Don't know why it took that long. All right. So let's put this on neutral, and we are going to the ground floor. This thing is so cool. Like, let's turn this off here, so we don't, you know, get any poisoning. And uh, yeah, man. So these elevators here, I heard you can like put an elephant in here, one or two elephants in here. I mean, if it's taking cars, it better be able to do that. So, but obviously, it's only enough for one motorcycle or i mean one car but i'm pretty sure you can put like four motorcycles in here for sure but for right now let me put on my nd filter because it's about to be really bright out there so cool thing is right now is that we are actually going back to the apartment right now getting my sunshades and then taking a ride down to soho um that's gonna be fun uh i always wanted to go to soho i think i'm gonna go to the emelion door store um to check out you know how their coffee tastes so um if you guys don't know what leon if you guys don't know what Leon Door is, it's basically a uh, brand that started in New York. Um, really dope brand. I love it. Uh, yeah, so that's where we're about to go. That's where I'm about to go right now. My dream has always been to, my dream has always been to obviously just go to place to place, like um, a cafe, riding, riding in the city. Like that's always been my dream, right? And where I'm from, like where I live, um, it's not too city like so you know I, I still have that missing I still have that like missing piece of like having that city uh, vibe so yeah that's why I am uh, this has been my dream riding in New York on a motorcycle man sheesh oh man I didn't tie no, <laughs> I got the same mistake again I didn't even put on my helmet I didn't put on my helmet strap. <gasps> we need a tunnel right now. Let's see if I can put on my helmet strap before the light switches. I gotta put a neutral first. Let's see, nobody behind me. See how fast I can do it. See how fast I can do it. Uh, there we go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. All right, put this bad boy back on. Put this bad boy back on here. All right. Yeah, man. Let me know, let me let me know what you guys feel about this. Um, you know, motor vlog stuff because this is my first. I guess you can call this my first motor vlog ever, right? And I'm loving it actually. You know, the quality of the GoPro Hero uh, Nine. <laughs> it's just, you know, it's just amazing because you know I shoot, I shoot with uh, a Black Magic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. Um. It's a camera that they use in uh, one of the Avengers movies, so yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely uh, cinema quality, uh, to say the least. All right, all right. I think I have to tighten this a little bit more. Uh, I mean, it's tightened. Da 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 da. -da, -da. So I guess I can talk about a quick review on the, uh, I guess the G310R. Um, I got this bike, it was a steal. I got it for about $4,000, 4,500. Um, the owner, which is this lady that this lives not too far away from me, was like, yeah, man, I just, I just, I just didn't ride it. You know, it was just sitting there in my garage. I look at the uh, anometer and it's, 15 miles only 15 miles on the dash like what 15 miles and then the discount was so heavy so i was like you know what this is it because 
initially initially I didn't want this bike. I actually wanted a Husqvarna um, Zwartfilin. Uh, if you guys know that bike, it's kind of like a neo uh, like a neo retro cafe racer, and it's a beautiful bike. But it was so hard for me to get because you know you know it's a Swedish bike, and um, it was hard to get it over here. And the, the time that I was looking for it, it was almost summer. So nobody wanted to, you know, cut a deal with me because they were like, yeah, nobody has this bike and we're the only ones who have it. So we're not going to, you know, cut you a deal, basically. So I was like, whatever. So I basically was looking through Craigslist. Then I saw this beauty and I was like, oh, my God. So me and my boy, Mehdi, we went to the spot because he he knows a lot about uh, motorcycles and bikes. So it was my first bike, so I had to have him consult. Uh, I had to consult in him uh, for how good the uh, motorcycle is. So he checked it out. He rode it around, and he was like, yeah, man, this is good. You know, it was garage kept and all that good stuff. Um, so it was a deal for sure. It was a deal. The lady was super nice, man. She was super nice. You know, I asked her if it was dropped. You know, she dropped it once, but, you know, she already had a replacement. Um uh a brake lever and a, a clutch clutch lever here so all of that was good no issue on that um she even played she even paid for the transfer fee for me man like that's an amazing deal she paid for the transfer fee and all that stuff so you know shout out to her man um so yeah had the bike for like a year and been riding it it's been an amazing experience to be honest with you it's been a very very great experience um, you know, it, the clutch, anybody who has this bike will tell you about the clutch. The clutch is so sensitive. Even experienced riders stall on this motorcycle here because the clutch is just so finicky. You know what I mean? Take it easy, dude. <laughs> the light just turned green. Anyway, the clutch is so finicky, man. So, you know, being a new rider with such a sensitive clutch i was like man i was stalling left and right everywhere man so i really had to um really had to get my you know my muscle memory right uh so yeah but after that man this 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 bike is such a nimble bike like flicking it through the corners you know what i'm saying like weaving in and out of traffic it's it's a beast man it's a naked bike it's a beautiful bike and the amount of compliments that I get on this bike is just is just crazy. The amount of compliments, man. You know, the first two, three months of having this bike in my city, every time I go to the gas station, somebody's like, that's a BMW? I've never seen one of those. You know, and they're like super excited. And like, literally, I was once at a Wawa gas station. This guy literally stopped me and talked to me for like 30 minutes, you know. And I'm like, man, I actually got to get out of here. You know, it's really cool, man. Like, and, you know, having the kids stare at you on your motorcycle because, you know, it's a motorcycle and they've never seen that. So it's really dope. So maintenance wise, right, it, it's it's I did not do anything to this motorcycle without just, you know, basic oil changes and, um, you know, tightening the chain, um, you know, just basic stuff, really. Like, honestly, at most, I think I've spent $300 from the year, you know, the year me having it. Um, the first service fee was like, I'm not sure. I think I'm just going to put it up here on the screen. But I think it equated to like $230 and like $30 or something. And that was like an oil change. Um, uh, what's it called? An oil change. Um, cleaning the chain. Lubing the chain and lubing uh, like other stuff here. But yeah it wasn't that bad honestly so i i did have an issue in the beginning because my the, the person who i brought this bike from you know had it in the garage but she didn't have a trickle charger uh to give juice to the battery so the battery was a bit a bit faulty at first um so sometimes it wouldn't start you know and i would have to keep cranking it and cranking it and cranking it and i was thinking like ah oh, man this battery really sucks because she told me that it, you know, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't, uh, uh, it, it, the battery was faulty. So I, I, my head went right away to it being a faulty, uh, battery. So I bought a new battery and it, 
left me stranded <laughs> at a movie theater. Luckily, my uh, sister was there and all that stuff, so um, it wasn't a big deal. But I was like, man, you know, it sucked. So I took her to the to the, to the shop, to the BMW shop, to get it looked at. And basically, what they said it was, um, I think it was a, a spark plug or something like this, or something was misfiring. Um, so, and the thing about this motorcycle is there has been a bad batch on this motorcycle. This is a 2019. So there was a bad batch where um, there was an issue with it misfiring and all that stuff. So, you know, good thing it was on warranty. So, you know, the call for the part all the way in Germany. And it took about like about three months to get here. But the good thing about it is that... You know, it was winter time already, so I didn't worry because I wasn't really riding crazy in the winter, you know? So it was basically like it was being garage kept at the BMW shop when at the times that I didn't even really care to ride it, you know what I mean? So that was like a plus for me. And, you know, the guys out there were really nice, you know? They, uh, you know, they called me up, told me like what the, ish the situation was, and, you know, they put it on a, on a towing truck, brought it right back in the front of my house and all that stuff so that was really good great experience with those guys uh if you want to know who those guys are they're hermes um really good guys they uh have a vmw shop and a triumph shop so they're really cool so you can check them out if you want anything bmw or triumph <laughs>